Uh, hello viewers, welcome back to Goyes Days. And in today's video, we are going to uh, bring you, uh, show you how we can easily create uh, different questions uh, in different font size, font color, and font type. Uh, this has been requested by one of our viewers, and uh, I won't take much time. I'll just go direct to where we should be starting from. Yeah, so uh, we have an, a message here, and uh, one of our followers just asked us, he go use take, can you please make a video showing how I can change uh, the font size, font color, and the font type? Uh, thanks so much. Yeah, basically this is the comment we got, and uh, we are here to help you guys whatever comments you have, whatever questions you have, we are willing to support you. Yeah, so uh, once I come to my Kobo toolbox, I have a question here, here. I have a question here. And uh, I wanted at least to change some of a few, uh, some of a few words, like maybe I change the type, like the font color, the font type, and maybe the font size. So let's do like this. Uh, I want to first preview this form before I go any further. Let me try to first preview the form. And after that, I see how, maybe how it is. Then uh, we see how best we can do the changing. Yep. So let us give it a few minutes to load. And uh, we see how it's gonna be. Yeah, so basically this is always the, our title. And uh, I want to change this introduction. Introduction to a different color. For example, I may make it maybe orange because I prefer orange, I may make it orange. So let's go back and I'll show you how best we are going to do, to do this. It's very simple and easy, very simple and easy. What we are going to do, uh, we are going to come to our Cobalt toolbox. Uh, then after that, what we are going to do, we are going to just highlight, like maybe we are going to make this introduction. Uh, we are going to make it like, uh, we are going to use a formula. And our formula is going to be, okay, let's first highlight this. We cut it. Then our formula, you're seeing like question label is required. So the formula we're going to use, we are going to first bring this design. Then we put span, we write span. Then span style. That is a function. Then after that, we are going to put equal signs, then quoted commas. Then uh, after that, we're now going to call the color. We want to change color to green. So what we're going to do, just come and say maybe color, color, then put these two dots. Okay. After that, Call it any color you want. Maybe I want orange, as I said. I want orange. Then put the sign here. Uh, you can close the quotation marks. Then close with this sign. After that, after that, we are going now to bring our introduction part here. Remember, we copied it, we cut it, so we're just going to come and paste it there. After pasting it, you have to go until it's finished. Okay. So after that, what we're going to do, still you have to close the quotation marks. And after closing them, try to write this formula here, put that uh, greater sign, this is, uh, greater, greater less, put the less sign, and then put the, the slash here. After that, write the word span. Write the word span. After writing span, put the greater sign now. 
you just put the greater sign. Greater sign. So that's how easy it will be. In simple terms, in simple terms, let me just write it here so that you can view it very well. In simple terms, in simple terms, this is our this is our formula we have just used. Here in the introduction, you write the whole like the whole text you want to be to be changed. Uh, maybe let me try to zoom it so that you guys you can easily view it very well. Yeah, this is how it looks. This is how it looks. Uh, less sign span style is equal to open uh, cultured marks and then put the color you want and then the orange put the orange and then after orange put this sign here close the quotation marks then you put the greater sign after putting in the greater sign still close put the word you want to change after changing close the quotation marks then put the greater uh, sign, then put this slash here, write the word span, and then you close. So once you close, I wanted us to see how this is going to appear. Uh, after that, just come and save. Come and save. And then after saving, click on save. After saving, then I want us to preview the form. We we'll still give it some little time. So you're seeing that our word has been automatically changed, like introduction to orange. Everything has been changed to orange. So still, I want to use this uh, this header uh, to still maybe put it in italic. How do we put it in italic? Uh, for italic, what we're going to do you're going to just uh, after the cara, you're going to now to make it to to make it a style. It will be a style. So we are going to come back to our formula, and then we shall just write the word font uh, hashtag style, then italic. Okay, our thing is going to be looking like this. It's going to be looking like this. So after here, after this introduction, we are going just to make it italic. Just make it italic. So the way I was explaining, I was saying like uh, what we are going to do, just come to your bubble, uh, span style. So once you reach here, once you reach here, you're going to say, you remember this is span style, span style, then we put color. Then we are going to say font, 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 you put that car hyphen dash, then style. No? Yeah, style, yeah. Style, style. Then here we shall we shall call it. Maybe we want it italic. We want it italic. So after that, uh, put in this a small sign, and then that will be done. So what you're going to do? What you're going to do? You have to close here, and then you will now open now open here yeah so you're going to save and once you save we come to preview of course you know the difference between italic so we have to make sure that our word is put in italic and definitely our introduction has been put in italic yeah so uh our next thing is gonna be looking like uh we can change even the font, uh, the font family. Font family, I mean the font types, font types. So it's the same thing. What you're going to do, you're going to come now and say after the italic part, after the italic part here, 
What we are going to do, it's very easy. Just come and then go to font family. Just here. Just here. Come and say font, font, then dash family, font family. So on the font family, what we are going to do, we are going to come maybe to either Word or Excel, then we select uh, the font type we want, or we can call it the font family we want. Uh, it's very easy. Just come to maybe open your Excel. Yeah, so let me just open my Excel. After opening my Excel, I'm going to come and uh, I come to Excel. Yeah, so this is our Excel. So the font, getting the font family, what we're going to do, just come, like you're seeing where did this set is here. So this is the font family. This is the font size. And then this is italic, the one I just made right now. And then when you want to change the color of the word, you just change it from here. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to choose any, any style I feel like maybe I'm in love with. Let me just move around, I move around, I move around, I move around. Okay, we can use maybe informal, informal Roman. So you just click on it, then you come and copy it. You just come and copy it. Then you bring it back to your, you bring it back to your Excel. So what you're going to do, just come back, I mean, to Kobo, come back to Kobo. So once I come back to Kobo, here, where I decide font family, and then the, these two dashes, what I'm going to do, I'm just coming to paste, to paste my, my font uh, type, which is informal normal. After that, I'm going to save my form. Once I save my form, it will automatically be saved. And then I click on view. Once I save view, uh, I give it some little time to load. And then you can easily see that my font family has been changed to informal Loman. If I want to change it, I can easily get another, another, another type. Maybe I want, uh, I want, I want, I want, I want wide Latin. So when I check wide Latin, I'll just copy wide Latin in my Excel. Then I come back to my Kobo. I just change here. I'll just come and change here on the informal. Then I just put the other one I've just copied. I paste it there. I save my form. After saving my form, I'll just come and I put up the form to make sure that it is in white Latin. So you can see the, uh, the, 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 the introduction part has been changed to uh, white Latin. Uh, it looks not to be so good. So what are we gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna change now everything. Let me just get another font, another font. Maybe let me call it. Uh, let me call it. 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 Okay, I'm gonna call it Adobe. I'm gonna call it Adobe Calamont. So I come back to my Excel. I paste it here. White Latin, I paste Adobe Calamont Pro Bolt, and then the font family that is it, Italic. Uh, okay, then I, I'm gonna change to, to red. I've changed my color, my color to red. I'm saving my form. After saving the form, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to come to preview, and then it should be in red, and then yeah, so basically this is how like this how beautiful it is looking like. Introduction, it has changed to red, and even the font type has changed. It it has changed even to italic. So, uh, basically this is how we can do the we can do the design, uh, changing the colors uh, of our forms, uh, changing the font size, and then changing. Uh, the font type. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. I beg to stop here and see you in our next video. Remember to subscribe. Remember to share our videos to your friends. Remember to like and comment in case maybe you have not understood anything. We shall always be there to help you and support you. Yeah, otherwise, I wish you the best as you're practicing. Make sure that whatever you you do, you, at least you get time and practice them. Yeah, it's very easy and simple. So, uh, bye.